I don't want to spoil this too much. So all I'm going to say is it seems like Marvel can do the specials correctly. There is one spoiler I want to say, and I will tell you when it's coming. But what I want to say is excellent, heartfelt, funny. Um, it gave Mantis amazing character progression, but she didn't feel like they were trying to downplay everything else. Uh, they played up Drax and his real simpletonness, and yes, Drax in the comics can be that simple. So, for people that are like, uh, oh, well, I don't understand. No, Drax is a very simple guy. <laughs> this movie was cool. I loved it. It was 40 minutes. There is an after credit. I actually felt myself getting emotional and I'm like, this is what I need from you, Marvel. Maybe just do these presentations because apparently this is where phase four actually shines. And it's like the only place they actually shine. Um, You do. I figured out something, but it's cool because you even learn about stuff in the past and there is one particular thing. Well, there's three things I've always questioned about Marvel. Um, and they've addressed two out of the three. The first one was, uh, what happened to all of Clint Barton's equipment when he stopped being Ronan? I found it weird that they kind of did what they did with it. And it's kind of dumb and irresponsible and odd, but you know, stuff happens. But at least they explained it. My number two was what happened to Bucky's other arm? And uh, my third one is, which is still a plot hole. If you go back and watch Captain America Winter Soldier. When Captain America is in his stealth armor, he has a different shield. And you do see it a couple times later. So I always found it confusing that they only focus on Captain America's one shield when he clearly had another shield. Um, if you think about it, when he does the missions, one time he's in his apartment and he has the one shield, you see the other shield on the floor. So I always found it weird that they were like his one shield. This is the most important thing. And I'm like, but literally in another movie, he had another shield. So why didn't he just, when he gave Tony that shield, why didn't he just go get the other shield? But this is now answered. Uh, this holiday special has answered one of those questions. Um, it was fun. Like I said, heartfelt. Love the par the character progression of Mantis. Um, they actually touch on a few things with other characters. And I was like, that makes sense now why this is that way. Um, and they definitely do things where they kind of hark back to the uh, um, <laughs> the uh, crappy holiday special that Star Wars was. And I don't know, just just it's. Once again, the special presentation is just was awesome. Like a continuation of Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> and now I'm very excited for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It did some stuff that they don't have to focus as hard on in the next film and can kind of go forward. So I would definitely say, um, matter of fact, you know what? Now, I am a little biased because especially after what happened with She-Hulk, um, now, hands down, my favorite franchise out of uh, all the MCU is Guardians of the Galaxy. I used to kind of toss up between Avengers and uh, the Incredible Hulk. Uh, that movie's still awesome. But after what they did to Incredible Hulk with She-Hulk and all the disrespect and garbage, Guardians is the best. Um, this, for me, is a blow my mind. I loved it. I enjoyed every minute of it. I liked what they did. I, I liked how how it showed them reacting the first time. There, I, I literally laughed out loud. I was coughing because y'all know, I, uh, like I said, I got a cold. Uh, if you get the chance, check it out. Just like Werewolf by Night, it's another one they knocked out the park. And it's like when they're not trying to show shove all this agenda crap down your throat, they give you some real good, clear, concise, old school storytelling. And I feel like Mantis was the lead on this. And I loved her. I always liked Mantis um, in the MCU. She's a little different in the comics in some aspects. But this really kind of associated her with more to comics. And I loved Mantis like through and through. I was like, wow, is she becoming like my favorite uh, female MCU character? Like I liked her that much. So check it out. 
You'll get a great laugh. Um, it, it's heartfelt. It has that Christmas feel. And um, it was good to go. Gig protagonist, and I'll see you. And lastly, there is an after credit. So stay there for the after credit.